for the three missing children in Jasko's Randon Autica video. Details of disappearance of Richard and Reagan. Richard, his mother Virginia, and his younger brother Reagan were last seen on September 12, 1980. They were leaving Virginia's mother's residence in Riverton, Wyoming, at approximately 1.30 p.m. and driving the family station wagon to meet Virginia's ex-husband, Gerald Uden. He was going to take Reagan and Richard bird hunting, and the boys had a rifle in the car with them. They never arrived at their destination, and have never been seen again. The Uden's 1973 Ford station wagon, which Virginia had borrowed from her mother, was found abandoned and vandalized on October 4, 1980. Nearly one month after she and her sons had disappeared, the station wagon was located in the vicinity of the 700 block of North Federal Court in Riverton, Wyoming. Near Dixon Park Road in Trout Creek Canyon, in the Winds River Canyon region of Fremont County. It appeared as if someone had tried to push it into the canyon, but it had become lodged on some rocks 75 feet from the top. Someone then tried to conceal it by covering it with pine branches. Large amounts of Virginia's blood were found all over the car's interior photographs of Gerald and his current wife, Alice Louise Uden, are posted with this case summary. They moved to Missouri sometime after Virginia, Reagan, and Richard disappeared. In September 2013, Gerald and Alice were arrested and charged with murder. Gerald was charged with the murders of Virginia and her sons. He was not their biological father, but he had legally adopted them. In October 2013, he pleaded guilty to all three murders and provided a detailed account as to what happened. Gerald stated he shot Virginia, Richard and Reagan with the 22 caliber rifle they were going to use for bird hunting. He admitted the murders were premeditated and said he shot them after they got out of the car at a canal near Pavilion in Fremont County, Wyoming. Gerald put the bodies in large drums and dumped them in Fremont Lake, which is approximately 450 feet deep in exchange for his guilty pleas. Gerald was sentenced to life in prison. He referred to Virginia as a predator and showed no remorse for his actions. Alice was charged with murdering her husband, Ronald Holtz. They married in September 1974, and he disappeared sometime after Christmas that year. Prosecutors claimed she shot him in the head with a 22 caliber rifle and dumped his body in an abandoned gold mine. And it wasn't found until August 2013 period. Alice had long been a suspect in Holtz's disappearance, and in 1989 a witness said she'd confessed to his murder. But the police didn't have enough evidence to make a case against her until his body was located. Alice was tried in the spring of 2014. She claimed Holtz was abusive, and she shot him to protect her daughter from him. She was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. Foul play is suspected in the Uden's cases due to the circumstances involved. Details of disappearance. Tammy was last seen walking to Lincoln Street School in Exeter, New Hampshire on November 13, 1984. A neighbor saw her cross Court Street at approximately 8 a.m., but she never arrived at school. Tammy has not been seen again. She was, was not reported as a missing child to law enforcement until after the school day ended as Lincoln Street School did not verify students' absences until after her disappearance. Extensive searches of the area produced little evidence as to Tammy's whereabouts. Police received a tip that she may be buried in Exeter Cemetery in a grave dug in 1984. They dug up the grave and found only the 91-year-old woman who was supposed to be there they drained and searched the pond in 1996 and found nothing relating to Tammy's case. Victor George Wanyat Jr. was named as a suspect in Tammy's case shortly after she disappeared. Wanyat was employed at Brant's Custom Auto Body on Main Street in Exeter in 1984, which was located several blocks from where Tammy was last seen. Police found a photograph of Tammy in his house as well. A photo of Wanyat is posted with this case summary. He has a criminal record dating back to the 1960s and was periodically imprisoned for forced entry, larceny, and sexual assaults throughout the years. He is also considered a suspect in the 1984 Florida disappearance of Marjorie Christie Luna. He lived near Christie's residence at the time she vanished and her case remains unsolved as well. He was sentenced to 75 years for burglary and indecent exposure in Florida in 1992 at the trial. Wontai was never charged in connection with either child's case, and no physical evidence connects him to the disappearances. Prison inmates testified that he admitted killing Christy and Tammy. He was, was released from prison in 2012 and died eight months later. Wontai was incarcerated for burglary in Florida in 1992. 
He was never charged in connection with either Tammy or Luna's cases, and there was no physical evidence linking him to either of the girls' abductions. He died in prison in 2012. Tammy remains missing, and her case is unsolved.